Well, okay. So we are just getting ready for the Topfer. We have this, I call this the Topfer Cradle. Because it's gonna hold the Topfer. I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna put it here. Yes, here it is, here it is. Here's the Topfer. And what is the Topfer? It's basically just a synthesizer. Um, for those, I'm gonna run through this really quickly. For those who know a little bit about synthesizing, uh, for the, those of you who don't know anything, you're just gonna see me later on doing some buttons and then you a little bit understand what's, what, the, what it's doing, even though you don't know the core of it. But for those who know a little bit about synthesizing, I'm just gonna run through this really quickly. I have here three oscillators, and these three oscillators go into two different filter paths. It goes into this uh, the mixer here, and into this uh, 18dB A103 filter that is uh, it's kind of a simulation of the filter that is on the 303. And this one then goes to the VCA here and out. This also goes to the mixer here and goes into the phase shifter and then into the VASP filter here and then goes to the VCA. So I have basically two filter sections on the same oscillators and I created these mute buttons here. So for example, I can, you know, this button here is putting into this filter channel allowing it to go into the VCA, this one. Now this one is going into the VCA, and now it's at both of them. And I created the mute buttons on the, on, the, on, the, on the mixer that is going into the 303 filter, because that's the main filter. And basically this is the first oscillator, here's the second, here's the third, and this is the ring modulator. That is basically some weird manipulation. Here is the ring monitor. It's two oscillators going together in this weird shit. I don't understand what it's doing, but it's doing something. And then it comes back into here. So let's just put it in and see what it can do. We have some lights on here. So the electricity is on. The v VCA is a, it's a, it's the, it stands for what it's controlled amplifier. And basically that one is going to come it's going to control the level of the final signal. So the output on this one, I am going to hook up in channel one on this mixer here. And with some nice tricks that uh, the Mackie mixer has is that I'm going to have, I'm putting this halfway into the insert here. That basically, then it's just a copy of the topper and I'm also going to put it into the line two here. So basically the topper is coming into these two channels. I'm going to explain a little bit later why that is, but the topper is coming into these two. We have the electricity on, but then we have to have to a connection that is basically allowing the MPC to control the synth. And to do that, like, like I told, told you before, we have a, a meter signal. This is one is sending a meter signal, so let's hook that up. Where is it? Okay, it's a meter one. So, so I can tell you that what is now Going into this cable, this thing here. So this thing is so here is some meter signal happening. That if I hook this into something, it's gonna you know send the meter signal that says uh, what notes are gonna be played at what time. But this thing here, an analog modular system stuff, that doesn't understand meter. We have to uh, change the signal into a, uh, into some signal that this one will understand. And the analog synthesizer, they, they understand just voltages, it all, all works just on different voltages and it needs two voltages. One voltage is to tell the oscillators what pits they should be in. So that's basically gonna change the pits of the nodes. And there's a second control voltage that is gonna trigger the nodes. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's at zero when there's a no note, but when, when, the, when a note is not playing, but then it's gonna hit five volts when the note should sound and then turn down to zero once again as the note should go off. And this thing here is what I'm going to use to change the MIDI signal, MIDI in, into the gate signal that's going to control the note on and off, and the CV1 signal that is going to control the pits. So I'm just going to place it here. So now I have the, this connected into the MIDI and it has electricity, and we see here, it's saying, I'm identifying some notes here. 
and as you see it's uh, in sync with the track I'll be listening to. So now I need to, I'm going to take this and, and hook it up to the synth. First I'll do the gate signal and we the envelopes are are just the uh, yeah, curves in time that is going to be triggered as the note is triggered. Let's see, let's put it here in the gate in on a bus success as I explained. So now we see the envelopes here triggering. Nice. And then here I'm going to put in the controls of the synth. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, but I'm first taking it into this clave limiter. You know, it's basically just, um, it's for glides, but it doesn't matter. Then it goes into the, the CV bus here and controls this sequence. So now it's, now it's running. So let's see what happens. So let's. So let's tune it and come back to it. Okay, so now the top is hooked up. I have tuned the oscillator so it should sound nice. And let's start and see what happened. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing over. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, nothing happening now because it's muted. Like I said, these are mute switches. So this is the, f this is the, this is the mute switch for this filter section. And this is the mute switch for the first oscillator. Let's get that one in. So this is an oscillator. And it has filters that behave the similar way as the, uh, the filter that is here, is that I can... So now we have one oscillator playing. Listen to the second one. Yes, yeah, the eight above. This one, the third one, this one I have on the fifth. Okay, so so we have the top fair. I, I've shown you a bit, a little bit of of some of the stuff I can do in the over, but I'm gonna dive a little bit more into the top fair. And to do that, we need I want to check out some other tracks. 
I'm gonna load moss. The sounds for moss. Let's find that one. Moss, 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 moss. Here it is. These are the drums and some stuff. Uh, Let's get going in, going in, going in. Nice, nice. We now have the parts for. Ah, we need also the sample for the bass. Let's get that. And deep inside. Let's deep inside. Let's check out deep inside. Where is that? Where is that? Where is deep inside. Here it is. Let's get that one in. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it in. The sample is going. Okay, and let's go to this part. Ah, moss. There it. This is the verse. Here's the core. This is the chorus. Okay. So moss is basically two parts, like the, like over. Let's start with the verse. So I'm just going to show you a little bit here what's happening on the channel, so you, so you know what's happening. You know, I start playing. There's nothing going on because this is down. Here we have the bass drum, snare, hi hats. And some more hi hats. And even more hi hats. And on this channel, I have some vo vocal. Nice. What I do with this is basically I, I, I have it in the cows, but. Let's see what happens about. Let's see. The bass. Taking the filter down on the synth channel. What's gonna happen? What's gonna come from here when I raise this up? Okay. Daniel only needs one voice to create the chorus on top of this. And go into the chorus. Woo! One oscillator, a second, and a third. happening is that the MPC is sending on out this all this audio here that we know and then it's sending out MIDI signal that is converted into control what it is to control this thing here and playing these bass notes that we're hearing and as you hear it's just the same note it's, uh, it's um, D something I think but what I can do let's check out the first oscillator here these joysticks yeah what, what copy are they doing this joystick here is I can open the filter and go back. And close the so basically, this is connected to the filter. This one is connected to the filter on this unit here, that is locked in. But going up and down is going to do interesting things to the first one. Let's just check it out. So change the pitch. That's it. 
change it into a solo. Let's see when it starts again. Okay. for that one, I go into the intro deep inside. Okay, now I'm gonna explain why I'm having two channels here. So I have this channel here, not in the mix, but it's just going to this thing here. And what I can do here, I can change it into endless mode. But I mute it, so now it's here. So now I'm basically doing the intro deep inside. Just wait for Daniel to start singing, and then we can continue with the song. So that's about it. This is uh, the live set, basically. Um, yeah, so you know the core of it. There's some minor details I haven't gone into. That is not really important. But this is uh, the Couscous live set. Welcome.
Well, well, if you have any questions, just email them to question at guskus.com. Should be there in some title. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.